Okay, so sorry about the noise in here. We are currently at Wicked Spoon. Um, we did the buy one, get one offer because we do have status here, so we we're able to do that. We are absolutely starving. First time here, really excited. We're gonna get some food now. Wicked Spoon is located on level two of the Chelsea Tower of the Cosmopolitan. As of the time of recording this video, they are only doing brunch Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., as well as Saturday and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. The last seating is usually about half an hour before they close, so make sure you get there early. This is their Asian section, so this is where you're gonna find items like sushi, and most importantly, of course, their crab legs. All right, so this is a fun little rice thing here, a little basil rice. Okay, enjoy guys. Really, thank you. Yo. I love the little presentation here, the little container. Uh, got some Kung Pao tofu. Mm. Really good flavor. We look at we checked out mainly the, looks like there's probably Asian section. There's some noodles here. Mm. Everything's been pretty good so far. I got this like muscle here. Very small muscle. Great flavor though. It's a little on the salty side, but it's really great flavor. There's a lot of different sushi here. I think this is like a, a crab type sushi. Dry. I think the sushi's been sitting a little bit too long. Maybe it's a little bit, you know, when that rice sort of sits too long and you get that, like, yeah, it's a little bit of that. Okay, I'm gonna finish all this stuff up. That's basically for me. You will notice I do take very small portions of things. I hate wasting food and I hate seeing people piling food on their plates and, you know, leaving a bunch that they've, you know, maybe didn't want or couldn't finish. So I do tend to take only small portions. If I like something, I can go back and get some more. If I don't like it, well, at least I didn't have to waste too much. So just keep that in mind. I always feel bad doing these buffet or food type videos because if you've been following the channel, you know that I don't actually eat meat. So, you know, I'm here for you for the seafood. I'm here for you for any of the vegetarian or, you know, I guess more specifically pescatarian options. But don't worry, I did recruit Cody to give you guys some feedback on some of the meat dishes a little bit later in the video. All right, round two. I don't know what this is. It's some kind of a seafood thing. It almost, I don't know. That's okay. It's okay, it doesn't matter. I don't love that. It almost tastes like top water. Um, shrimp and grits. Okay. Shrimp and grits are not bad. Mm. Come on. I've heard a lot about this angry mac and cheese. It looks like a lot of this stuff's been sitting. I mean, you can see it's got this like film on the top. It's definitely been sitting. Whether we came at a bad time, I don't know. Mm. Ooh, yeah, there's the heat. Got a bit of a spice to it as well. Well, obviously a lot of a spice, but not too bad. And then of course I have to get a veggie samosa. Mmm. That's really good. It's got like an orange sauce with it. Kind of sweetens it up. Really good. Then if they just stop up, see what else they have to offer. There's a lot of options here. It's awesome. Wicked Spoon does a phenomenal job of labeling all their dishes. I will get into that a little bit later though. I did want to mention at the beginning of this video, this was spur of the moment. We didn't actually plan on coming here, hence why I don't have any of my equipment with me, like my mics or my tripod or anything like that. So I do apologize for the amateurness of this video. This is the rookie section. Do not fill up on bread at the buffet. Okay, so you had the meat, obviously. You you were the Arby's of the, the group. Uh, what have you had so far? What's, what's it like? Bomeo, carpaccio, bacon. Okay, how is it? Delicious. Okay. Try the carpaccio. Yeah, do the carpaccio for us. Ooh, look how thin. Get in there. 
Good. Oh. It's not what I prefer. I prefer just plain, but it's okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so as if you've seen any of my other videos before, you know that I don't eat meat, so that's why I had Cody sub in for me there. Um, I got the tuna, tuna tartar here. Mmm. That tuna is so good. Your tuna? The tuna is excellent. One thing I have to give credit for, by Wicked Spoon, is it tells you what the item is, like tuna tartar. But then there's an explanation underneath what it is. Or, you know, like it was a banh mi salad, for example. I thought, oh, that sounds interesting. Was able to read, saw those pork in there, knew I couldn't eat it. That's uh, kudos, kudos for that. I actually really appreciate that. Um, I got a little shrimp cocktail as well. If I can unlink them, there we go. A little bit of sauce, a little bit of lemon. Mm. Good. All right, let me finish this up. I'm debating getting some of those crab legs everyone's been raving about, so we'll see about that. All right, so I caved, got some crab legs. I just hate the mess. I hate having to work for my food, so it's sort of a pain. I usually avoid these things because I don't want to deal with it. But anyway, I had to do it because it looks so good, and I love crab. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It's going to take me a bit of work. I'm not going to bore you with the, the details of me fighting with this crab for the next half an hour, so... I'm gonna finish this up. It's gonna be a while. Maybe we'll get some more crab. Maybe we'll check out the desserts. The desserts here look amazing, so we'll probably check out the desserts shortly, so stay tuned. Spoiler alert, I did in fact actually partake in some more crab legs. They really were delicious. And honestly, at the buffet price, you definitely wanna try and get your fill in obviously some of the more, well, some of the better items, some of the things you enjoy more or some of the ones that are typically more expensive if you were to order them at a restaurant, for example. Like, don't be a rookie and, you know, go and get some bread or anything like that. This part here, Cody thankfully did sub in while I was attacking the crab legs, so you might notice a bit of a different filming style, but uh, I did appreciate him doing that for me. Uh, this is also after he did partake in the bottomless mimosas, so more on that later. Apologies for that, but uh, again, A for effort, and I appreciate him helping me out, obviously, on these different, uh, different videos. Now I will also say that the dessert selection at the Cosmopolitan is fantastic. There is such a wide variety. There, there really truly is something there for everybody. Um, you can tell some of the things there are those sort of store-bought type things like the macaroons and things like that. But I mean, again, you, you're spoiled for choice. You're gonna find something that you like, whether it's uh, you know panna cotta, whether it's cookies. The gelato selection is you know fantastic as well. Beautiful different selections. So yeah, you're gonna you're gonna enjoy the dessert. So make sure you save some room and don't fill up too much on crab legs. All right, we moved on to the most important part of the meal. That is the dessert. What kind of, uh, what did you get? It says chai tea. Can I try it? chai tea. Chai tea? Chai tea latte. Okay, we got a chai tea sorbet. sorbet. Mm. That's good. It's like green tea. It's good though. Um, I don't have any. Okay, we're gonna have to use this. My dirty spoon. That's fine. We're gonna improvise here. Those crab legs really took it out of me. I'm exhausted. We've got the creme brulee, which of course is cold. It just has the crystal sugar on top. So it's not like the actual torch creme brulee. Um, someone, yeah, somebody was messaging me. They're like, hey, it's okay. It's possible? it's sweet, no but so kind of eggy. This is so cute. I forget the name of it, but it's yeah, adorable. Like Spom chocolate spumoni, I think it might be. Anyway. Um, Mm. Yes, what's new with you? Try to gain. Mm -hmm. Like pistachio? Yeah. They do the line out, you're like, I'll give you a big fish. Yeah. <laughs> uh, molten chocolate lava cake, I have to get that. Mm. It's good. But there's no molten lava like coming out of it. It's just like basically a brownie with some hot chocolate salsa in it, so. And then we have the guava cake. Very citru citrusy. 
<laughs> Good though. Anyway, we're gonna finish this up. I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the end of this. It's been good so far, but yeah, we'll check in with you again. All right, guys, so we just got back from brunch or lunch or whatever you want to call that at uh, Wicked Spoon in the Cosmopolitan. I have never eaten that buffet before. Um, I'm actually surprised to admit that uh, because I have stayed at the Cosmopolitan a handful of times now and uh, yeah, never eat at the buffet yet. So it was definitely a nice uh, opportunity to check it out. Um, change of plans, we were supposed to be doing something else. We were gonna have a quick breakfast. Anyway, ended up down there. So hence why I didn't have any of my stuff with me to properly record and uh, yeah, so I apologize and hopefully we can make something work out of that video. But uh, anyway, just to go over uh, quickly our experience. So um, we did have a buy one, get one through um, our rewards with identity, which we'll soon be changing to MGM rewards. But anyway, we'd had buy one, get one. So four of us ate there uh, for the price of two. Um, the lineup was, uh, we went on a weekday. It was, I guess, today's a Wednesday um, at uh, around 12-ish, 12, uh, 12, 12.30. So, you know, prime lunchtime, basically. It was busy enough. We were able to use a different lineup uh, because we were using our rewards and everything. So it made things go by a little bit quicker to be able to get through and everything. So that worked out. They, uh, I think the price was about 50-ish, $48, something like that per person. Um, and then it's buy one, get one, obviously, which made it a little bit cheaper. They opted to do the bottomless drinks. I didn't, I just had coffee because I thought like, my whole experience is if they offer all you can eat or all you can drink, you really have to choose either one or the other <laughs> because I can only fit so much in my stomach and I thought that's probably not gonna be a good idea. So anyway, they opt to do it, I did not. The price for that was actually kind of surprising. So um, they, was, the guy said, you know, if you wanna get one mimosa, it's $17. If you wanna do bottomless, it's 25. And bottomless also apparently included champagne. I think Cody said it also included like Bloody Marys and things like that as well. So really, I think you'd be crazy not to do the bottomless, even if you did just want two, you've already, saved money as opposed to just doing you know the one for 17 so seemed like a pretty good deal but uh, like i said i i opted out of that one and just stuck with just uh, just the food and some coffee the offerings that i saw at least were pretty good i mean most people were just loading up their plates with crab legs i love crab i just find that when i'm at a buffet i usually do tend to avoid it just because it is a lot of work uh it's a 90 minute wait uh 90 minute time uh frame that you have at your table as well and I just find it's just a lot of work and effort to do it. So I typically will opt out of the <laughs> crab legs, but everybody else was eating them. They looked really good. Ended up going for it in the end. But uh, anyway, first couple plates I had um, were pretty, pretty good for the most part. The sushi, I definitely felt like had been sitting for a bit. And there was some other things that felt like they'd been sitting for a bit, like that angry mac and cheese, a couple other pieces that just sort of seemed like they had been out for a while because you know maybe the, you could see the sauce layer on the top had dried out. The rice had dried out for the sushi, for example. So I wasn't crazy about that. I did see eventually that they were bringing fresh, more you know, more fresh stuff out. But uh, yeah, it just I think it was a little bit too late for me at that point. Again, I don't eat the meat. I you know tend to stick to just uh, seafoods and things like that. But uh, everything I had was pretty good. I checked with Cody. Uh, he said that the meat was good. Uh, the beef carpaccio. Uh, he had the bone marrow. A couple of things like that. Said everything was good. Yeah, the bacon. Said it was all pretty good. Um, I can't say I had a standout, you know, there was nothing that I could really say, oh, I want more of this, I want more of that. Admittedly, like I was trying to avoid the buffets this particular trip. Last time we did three, uh, which is a lot in my opinion, but um, I was thinking we were gonna avoid the buffets this time. This was a very last minute decision to to end up doing them. So yeah, we did end up doing the buffet, but uh, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't very hungry. The plates I was getting were very small. So, you know, again, not the best opportunity for me to try a buffet even really. I would say if I had to pick a standout though, I would probably say, I guess, the, the crab legs. Uh, once you got the hang of, you know, getting the actual meat out and everything, it, uh, they were pretty good. And you had that drawn butter, added, you know, nice, uh, nice uh, flavor to the, uh, to the crab. Their desserts are pretty cool as well. They've got some nice looking desserts. Again, nothing major, major standout there, but uh, their desserts are really nice. Uh, even visually, they just look really appealing. But, uh, you know, as I said, I. <laughs> Food-wise, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't really hungry today at all. I really would, really could have done without going to a buffet today, but I kind of just went with the crowd and we ended up there. I guess, uh, yeah, is the spot right for you? If you're staying at the Cosmopolitan and you're gonna get that offer, I'd say it probably 
is good to, to take advantage. Uh, anytime you can find a deal in Vegas, it's always nice to take advantage of that. Uh, buffet wise, is it my favorite buffet? I will still say that one of my favorites is still gotta be Bacchanal. Um, it's been a couple of years since I've been there, but uh, from what I remember, it is uh, it is really good there. The food was was excellent. So uh, the food here was still pretty okay too, though. They had some, as I said, a lot of good options, a lot of mixed things. I like the fact they had like, you know, some tofu options and stuff for, you know, all my veggie friends out there. But uh, all in all, was decent. I do wish on a you know on a personal level that I was probably more hungry and more in the mood for you know like a buffet type meal. I'll be honest with you, it just wasn't really what I was looking for today. I kind of just wanted something cheap and quick, just because we we're gonna head out to we we're well we we're gonna try and go to Area 15. Been trying you know for a while, but have not made it yet. So anyway, and unfortunately we go home tomorrow, so I don't think we're gonna be making it this trip uh, at all now. Anyway is what it is that's just a little bit of uh extra trivia that you didn't really need to know anyway uh thank you so much for checking out this video sorry if it wasn't quite up to you know what i was hoping it would have been you know with the sound and and the, and the quality and you know plus my phone was just moments away from dying as well so anyway it's just a lot of hiccups that is what it is this is you know we've been in vegas for almost nine days now so we're tired <laughs> we're very tired we're run ragged I have another, uh, uh, you know, room tour we're about to do shortly as well. So it's been very busy, very, very busy few days, but uh, it's been fun. I love Vegas, so glad to be here. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. The button is right there. Super appreciative if you could do that for me. Uh, it really helps me to keep delivering this free content to you and it is totally free for you. So please consider subscribing to the channel. I've got many other buffet reviews uh, on my channel as well. If you haven't seen them, I've got Luxor, Excalibur, The Palms, uh, plus some other food related videos, tons of hotel content. So make sure you check out all my other Vegas videos. And then once again, please subscribe. Once again, this has been Daniel Spotright, and we'll see you in the next one.